Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going plant shopping and thrifting. First stop is going to be Cactus Club. They have a pink lady peperomia that I'm going to go pick up. I reached out to them and asked if they had one because my other one died. I had an absolutely beautiful one last year and I don't know what happened. It's just one of those things where it started to go downhill and there was really nothing I could do. And then I'm going thrifting. I'm trying to get the house ready more or less for a plant tour. Uh, a lot of my plants had just been in my plant room and now I'm trying to kind of place them around my house. So I need things like baskets and plant stands and planters and that kind of stuff um, so I can film my house plant towards this one's long overdue I haven't filmed one in the new house and I have so many different plants now and I've gotten rid of a lot of my old plants so it'll be exciting to share that with everybody so if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Ashley and I'm obsessed with all things house plants I am a crazy plant person and proud I do a lot of like plant shopping if that's interesting to you uh, you may want to subscribe so that my episodes will show up in your news feed and I'm also on Instagram and absolutely love my plant community so maybe give me a follow on there as well so before I get started on a really exciting day of shopping, I just want to say a huge thank you to Toodaloo for sponsoring this episode. My schedule has me running around all the time, not enough hours in the day, so for me to have like a healthy snack on hand is a big deal. Toodaloo is a ridiculously tasty cosmic trail mix with functional benefits such as supporting focus, gut health, energy, and skin. Toodaloo is unique in that they're packed with healing adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha, lion's mane, and turmeric, which help in supporting your body's natural ability to relieve stress and produce energy and just stay holistically balanced. Now, it's really hard to pick a favorite out of their five flavors because they're all delicious, um, but I'd say my top two are Smoke Show and turning heads. Smoke Show is savory and barbecue flavored with 42 grams of plant-based protein per bag. It's low in carbs, supports energy and holistic balance. Turning heads is chocolate clusters, which just really satisfies any kind of chocolate craving that I ever have. And I love that it supports skin health. Toodaloo is non-GMO, gluten-free, grain-free, plant-based, and no processed sugars and is carbon conscious. I'm really impressed with the adaptogens that they've chosen to incorporate into their products. Many of them I'm taking already. So it's really nice to have them on the go in a snack form. They even have an OMG guarantee that if you don't agree Toodaloo is the most delicious trail mix you've ever eaten, they'll refund you. Click the link below to get $5 off your first order of ridiculously tasty Toodaloo. And don't forget that they will regenerate 100 square feet of polluted farmland with every order. All right, I'm so ready to go plant shopping and thrifting. Let's go. As usual, they do not disappoint. Ooh. They had an empress in here. Silver for 35. That's really nice. I have one and it grows like crazy. And look at these leaves. Isn't that so pretty? It's an epipremnum. Um, but you don't see it. This is the only time I've seen. This is the only time I've seen one of these here in Charlotte, except for the one I got from Malone's like a really, really long time ago. They're so pretty and they actually have silver on the leaves too, which is nice. Let's see what else we have here. Bipenifolium, 34. This is a neat peperomia here. They have some gorgeous gloriosums, 175. Dishidia. Oantha 48, some Ovavada 50. I think these over here are Bob C's. You see here, sorry. <laughs> Big beautiful Mykins and white stripe here. But let's see the Bob C one, 100. Isn't those leaves so pretty? Now I'm skipping over here to where the peperomias are because I want to see what pink ladies they have. Oh, yay. Oh, nice sized ones. <gasps> Look. Oh my gosh. Yes. This one's so much healthier too than mine. Um, than mine was. And I like that it's large size. When I got mine, it was the tiniest little plug with like one leaf. Um, and this one has a lot of really nice um, foliage already. $28. And then they have this one as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely this one, right guys? I'm so excited. Oh. This is a really pretty begonia. Silver dollar begonia. 
Wow, look at those leaves. $14. Then they have a ton of highly, highly variegated peperomias. $40. Peperomia Harmony's Gold Dust. Okay. Look at this begonia. Wow. Those leaves. It's a Rex begonia, um, 14. Both of these are 14 Rex begonias, different varieties. Such, oh gosh. The silver on, uh, my camera. The silver on these leaves. Look at the shimmer on that. Beautiful. This one's really cool. Rex Begonia, $20, has those fuzzy stems. Look at that purple. Ooh, oh, they have Silver Dollar Vine. I've been wanting one of these forever. Yes, how much? 18. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get one of these as well. Look, oh, it's such a cool plant. Um. Oh, this is neat. Philodendron and dewy form cutting. $20. Pretty cool. Then we have some little obovadas, $12. A big, um, some monstera perus, $28. <gasps> I didn't even see over here. They have booby cactus here. Look at them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. $42. I have two of them, otherwise I'd be buying another one. Oh, so nice. I love these guys. And then we have some really cool Tefro cactus, paper spine cactus here, $16.50. How wonderful. Let's see what else we have going on here. Oh, that one has some fruit on it. This one's cool. This feral cactus. It's really neat. Up here they have some imperial green philodendrons, $12. Ooh, look at this um, dragon bone euphorbia. Isn't that beautiful? And I love these little planters. They're so nice. So cute. We have Calathea orbifolias, 14. Jewel orchid, 24. Monstera adansonii's. Philodendrons. ZZs, a couple ravens, cute Sansevieria, Calatheas, a jungle boogie, 28. Some beautiful Anthurium potatoes here. Like they're in such mature form, um, absolutely gorgeous. 75 Anthurium insignia, 120. And then, oh uh, look, do we have Anthurium forgetii, 145. Um, the smaller one is 140. Monstera dubia, 100. Ooh, they have a nice Hoya Matilde, 115. Philodendron, 69686, 175. When I say mine is fast growing, it's an understatement. I cannot keep up with it. Um, such a cool plant, the 69686. Wow, look at this gorgeous Anthurium regale, 245. Oh, this Philodendron. Um, where should was, I don't know how to pronounce it here. I'll show you the name. Uh, it's listed for uh, 300, but these leaves are amazing. I, I don't wanna pull one down. Oh, but you can see here, this is a big time wishless plant for me. I almost got one when I was in Florida, but I didn't really, I wasn't able to figure out a way to bring it back and coordinate all that, but definitely gonna get one. Oh, they have a choco red, 385. Look how beautiful and lush those leaves are. Try to get a peek of the red stems and the 
Red backs of the leaves, so beautiful. Begonia amphioxus, 32. Some frosted heart here, 65. This is another one that grows pretty quickly. Um, Philodendron, flora, Philodendron florida green, 75. And look how big it is. <gasps> it's even trying to climb up the wall. I love it. Another frosted heart, 65. I think this is another florida green as well. Oh, this is discolors here. 28, absolutely gorgeous. Here we have um, Alocasia Hilo Beauties. I just bought one of those, so pretty. Alocasia Black Velvet. What is, oh, um, Decursivas and Birkins. Wow, look at these Mexicanum leaves. I just love the Mexicanums they have here. It's just next level. <laughs> 200, oh. So huge and massive. I mean, look how big that is. <laughs> and I love these little lobes that they get. That's a really cool plant. I have a tiny Mexicanum. I'd say it's worth getting the big one and putting a little extra money if you want. Um, if you want them, if you want your plant to get really mature, it's just so much faster. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Um. We have another philodendron here, beautiful. Look at this. I think this is a Diffenbachia. Um, don't see a label. Calatheas. Oh, look, they have variegated marantas here. 42, and they are huge. And we have some Skindapsis exotica. As always, they have beautiful uh, begonias here, angel wing begonias. These are 1350. So lovely. Peperomia hope, 28. Hoya linearis, Australis lisa over there. Oh, look at this Mikens. Gosh, those are so vibrant. I missed these guys over here. Um, they have a fishtail Hoya, a Polyneura, and it is 130. They have a Bertonet, a nice trailing one, 85. This one is a Raphidophora cryptantha, 42. And then they have high yeast here, they're 30. White stripes. The white stripes are 68. Some micans. Uh, Pachycladas. Some more Hoyas, Hoya gracilis. 26, Crimson Queen, 15, Wyeti, or Wyetii Variegated, 38, some more Pachycladas, 30, Australis Lisa, Pubicalyx, I believe, Macrophyllas. Look how neat this old sewing machine is. Isn't that neat? It's so cool. I always like to explore the furniture section to see if I can find any shelves, wicker baskets. That's cool. I like that. Oh, it's sold already. Um, this trunk is kind of neat. This old desk. Oh. Um, let's see what else we have here. Looks like everything's pretty much spoken for around here. 
Looks like there's these shelves back here that would be good for plant stuff. Wow, that's cool. Put some new handles on there, give it a paint. Paint job. Alright. Let's see if I see anything interesting here. Some baskets up top. There is one little planter right here. Um, oh, that's cute. Baskets up here. All right. Gosh, look at this. Hmm. This is something. Ten dollars. I just stood it up so I can look at it. Okay. Yeah. This thing is freaking awesome. I'm definitely getting it. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> 10 bucks. Perfect for plants. This is nice. Um, you know, you just paint it white. It's $12. Let's see what else I can find. All right. That thing up there is pretty cool. Kind of neat. Sphagnum moss. $4. And I have like this plain black one. Little picnic basket up there. This isn't bad. $1.99. You could put a plant in there. Have it coming out of the cornucopia. <laughs> Fun. I mean, it is Thanksgiving, so I could do something. I think it's around that time of year. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? Little leaf. It's funny when I edit these um, thrifting videos, there's always so many things that I see when I'm editing. I'm like, oh man, I missed that. or. I wish I would have gotten it, but it's just hard to see everything at once. Oh my gosh, how cute would this be? This little planter. Oh, this one's not bad. This one's pretty. I like that. $1.99. It's lovely. I like the little burlap around the top. Oh, I could hang it. I could hang it with a plant. Perfect. That would be cute to have a plant in it, but I don't want to go to all the trouble of getting that wax out. Oh my gosh! That is always little faces off. Otherwise that would be fun. Be cute for plants, but I don't know. Hmm. That's pretty. Hmm. There 
there's a little wall in my plant room that I think it would be fun to do a gallery wall with like all sorts of crazy picture frames and I don't know what. I thought this one was funny. <laughs> um, so I'm keeping an eye out for frames. Sometimes you can find ones that are really expensive. I just pulled this one out. I don't know anything about it, but I like it because it's like this person sitting here and they have a bird on their head and they have their little plants and their teapot and their gardening stuff. It's $1.99. I think I'm gonna get it. It's fun. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is it so bad that I'm in love with this chair? <gasps> I love it. I always really um, encourage checking the furniture section when thrifting for any kind of wicker baskets, plant stands, that kind of thing. And I just found this, it's $3.99. I think it would be the perfect plant stand. So, yeah, I'll probably get that. <laughs> oh gosh, it takes up the whole cart. Oh my gosh, I have to have it. <laughs> yes, I don't even know how much it is, but I'm getting it. $2.99, best score ever. Let's put them on plant stand. Kapow. Perfect for my trash-tastic vibes that I always seem to go for. All right. This is kind of cute. This little like old fashioned looking. Um, I don't know what you'd call this. I guess a jug. Wow, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, <laughs> should I get it from my bathroom? Should I get it from my bathroom? I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm getting it from my bathroom. All right. Let's see what else. These are actually just cool, like, mugs. They're huge. Good little cash pot. Um, $1.99? Sure. My weird... <laughs> my, like, weirdest haul ever. My husband's gonna be like, what did you do? Oh, that's cool. Ooh, I'm in love with this. $2.99. Yeah. I like the color. I love the shape. That's really funky. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what else. I actually really like this basket. Whoop. I'm knocking everything over. I like this basket. It's a nice basket. Put a plant in there. Quanto es? Doesn't have a price on there. This black one up here could work. Can't tell if it's a Looks like a trash can though. It's actually cute. Got a few more baskets and stuff up there, but I don't see any. Oh, this is just a really pretty bowl. $4.99. All right, guys, I am back and I'm really excited to show you all the stuff that I got. It's always exciting to do the haul portion of the videos, so Gonna jump into it. First up, the plants that I got from Cactus Club. Okay, the first plant I got from Cactus Club is the beautiful pink lady Peperomia. I was surprised they had a nice size one of it. Um, this one was $28. Uh, the original pink lady peperomia I got from them had was like just a little plug and it had a couple leaves. So the fact that they had a nice big one was awesome. And look how pretty the leaves are. I mean, they're just so, so lovely. 
Ah, oh, so beautiful. As far as care on this one, pink ladies are tricky. <laughs> I will say it is not the easiest plant I've ever taken care of. And the reason why I say it's tricky, like it's not difficult to keep alive, but it is tricky to get the pink leaves. Um, because if you don't give it the right conditions, the leaves come out looking like that, which is beautiful, but you want them to, you know, come out looking like that. So with these, you wanna give them enough light, which will encourage the variegation, but not too much light that it hurts the plant and the variation goes away. So I'm gonna experiment again a little bit more with these. My plan is to keep it on one of my shelves and near the grow light, but not directly under the grow light. As far as watering, I'm gonna, like right now, it feels pretty light. There isn't much moisture going on in there. So I'll probably water it in the next day or so. There's so much growth happening in, happening in there. I really find starting out with a really healthy plant is a great starting point. I recently posted on Instagram that we put so much pressure on ourselves as plant parents to get it right and get it perfect all the time. And a lot of it comes down to the plant you get. Sometimes you just get a plant that's just, you know, not great. It's luck of the draw. And sometimes you get plants and they're just so happy no matter what we do. So, you know, I try to keep that in mind that it's not 100% about me as a plant parent and what I'm doing and all we can do is our best, you know, especially given the limited um, Types of conditions we can give them being in pots and and with the lighting that we have in our homes and humidity and all that So knowing I was going to pick up a pink lady pepperomi. I wanted to get a pink pot to go with it so I found this cool one on Amazon and believe it or not, this was like eight dollars and it came with two best deal ever. I love this little blue one and the pink one is perfect for my pink lady. They do enjoy being root bound. I think that was the mistake on my last one is I repotted it and it didn't need it. And I just totally stressed the plant out and it was all downhill from there. Pink lady in her pink pot. I like the little feet on it. And for eight bucks for like two of these. I'll put the link in my description below for you guys. Cause I was so happy when I found that on Amazon. I was like, yes, that's what I've been looking for. Next plant that I got from Cactus Club. I was so shocked to see that they had these. The Silver Dollar Vine is a really cool plant that I have had my eye out for a for a long time. And I was very, very excited to see that they had these here. I have not seen them in Charlotte before. And um, there's some interesting stuff to know about it. You'd think it was a Hoya by the feel of the leaves cause it's very succulenty. It is a desert plant originally from Madagascar. So it does enjoy a lot of sun so this is a plant that you want to make sure it gets a lot of light and uh, allow it to dry out in between waterings um, give it you know good waterings during the summertime but in the winter time you don't want to keep it moist or water it too much this one was $18 and I actually picked up this little pot from Cactus Club which I thought was really pretty and goes perfectly with my silver dollar vine isn't that nice I really love this terracotta pot I think it looks amazing with it Kind of just goes together like the terracotta with the you know the contrasting of the leaves absolutely in love with my plant haul today i'm now on to the thrift haul first up is this really cool table that i found um it was only three dollars it has a glass top which i like and it's perfect as a plant stand it's just really simple which i love how cool is this guy i just think he's so neat I'd love to put a plant in here and have like the plant trailing out or coming out of his mouth. I just think that would look really neat. Oh, his little spout and his little tail. I just think this was so cute. This one was $1.99. It's perfect. I'm gonna put a plant in there, hang it up somewhere or set it on something. I don't know, I just think that's fabulous. It's a nice size one too. Like, you know, the big planters and stuff can be really expensive. So this basket. How cute to put a plant in that. $4.99. It's nice quality. I like the color. I just was feeling it. Really simple, dark blue cash pot, $1.99. Really nice quality. Ooh, I thought this one was really cool. Like modern, I like the color. And I like that it has the small on the bottom and then it kind of goes up like this. I also got the basket, it's still in my car. But uh, yeah, that one's perfect for a plant. It's a good size, it was a few dollars. So absolutely terrific. Absolute blast today as always and fantastic haul. If you'd like to see future episodes show up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe and give me a follow on Instagram.
And don't forget to click the link below to get $5 off your first order of ridiculously tasty Toodaloo. Don't forget that they will regenerate 100 square feet of polluted farmland with every order. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.